Here is the new BS Honey Nuke for National Hives. When I say new, it's probably about four years old and it's been designed by two professional beekeepers down in Gloucester and they really have thought about it. In my view, this is the best poly nuke on the market today. So let me just talk you through it. It comes with some very good but brief instructions. It looks very, very traditional. It's got the entrance gate here with the three different settings. You've got the queen excluder for when you want to keep the queen in. You've got the open position and then you've got the breather plate which keeps the ventilation going while you want to keep them in for transportation or let's say the, the, the farmer is spraying his crops or something like that. So looks pretty ordinary but then if you turn it round you have the exact same thing at the other end so why is that you ask well the reason is it's not only a top quality nucleus box but it's also an excellent breeding tool for both professional beekeepers and amateurs alike so let me just talk you through it so i'm taking the lid off and the first thing that strikes me is it's really really heavy density this is quite durable, gonna last a long, long time. So here is the feeder chamber. It's multi-purpose. So you've got these Perspex windows above each side where you can pour syrup directly onto the chamber. There's a small camber here. So the syrup will flow down to both feeders uh, there's a slot there for the bees to come out and a little feeding chamber there. However, you can also feed them by removing this silicon plug and placing your fondant directly in the middle. These two walls actually come out to give you more space or alternatively you could place your own syrup feeder in the middle to feed sorry, centrally. So very, very ingenious in my view. Let's have a little look at the main chamber. So as you can see, it will accommodate six frames easily. Nothing particularly clever about that, but here it is. Here is the ingenious design. There's a divider which actually sits nicely in the polynuke when you don't want to use it, but it's to hand whenever you do want to use it. And I'm sure you're all a bit like me. If that wasn't in there, then it would be lost somewhere in the shed or you'd probably stepped on it and broken it. So nice little touch that. So how do you use it? Well, when you're ready for dividing your colony from one to two, so let's say they're across a good a good five or six frames there then you would just place this divider right in the middle it fits really snugly so there's no transfer of bees or pheromones from one side to the other and then you would place the lid directly onto it like that so how it works if you were um, a professional or somebody who had a bit of experience and had other colonies as well you would probably uh, have your queen one side your existing queen one side and then either place one of your queen cells from another hive where you wanted to breed from or even introduce a, a butler cage with a, an already mated queen in the side which was needing one alternatively if you were a, an amateur let's for example if you were just starting beekeeping and you bought a six frame nuke then if you placed it in one of these and the objective was to multiply as soon as possible and maybe go into the next winter with two or more uh, colonies and not just the one then what you would do is you would ensure the queen is on one side and then there are some freshly laid eggs on the other and in about a week's time you just open this side remove the surplus queen cells and then just breed from your um, new queen cell, your new, new unmated queen. So they've even thought about little things like um, 
the, the colour of the discs. So you could call it the red colony and the yellow colony. Um, the floor is a full Varroa mesh floor and it's also two, one either side, so that the once again the, the pheromones and the smells would not transfer from one side to the other to create confusion. So what more can I say? I thoroughly recommend it. Um, hope that helps.